before I now heard this convert this um, confirmation now that it is true that her father slept with her. Hey guys, Blessing here. The much-awaited Facebook page show organized by Lolo has finally come and gone. So I'm going to quickly share some highlights with you guys and also tell you what I make of the show itself and all that was said in there. Now, Lola's purpose of organizing this online event is to prove that her former best friend Monica Ambrose allegedly committed incest with her late father. So just in case you don't know what that means, incest is a crime whereby two members of the same family have sexual intercourse. For example, father and daughter, mother and son, or a brother and a sister. And also, for those of you who do not understand Benin language, whenever you hear the word ekia, just know that that word means a man's penis. Yes heard the video where she said um uh, her father Ikea and her brother Sekia is the same mm -hmm. that is what we come and do here her father Ikea how is that possible why is her father why did she know her father Ikea after 20 years abroad or 18 years as at the time she said it after 18 years why did she know her father Ikea so apparently, Lola is trying to explain that a while ago, Monica Ambrose did a video in which she told her viewers that a male child must resemble his father, that either the legs of the child must look like the father's legs, or that the penis of the child must look like his father's. Then she used her brothers as an example that they all look like their dad, either by their face or by their penis. See, today, men, make a tell you now one thing. If you suspect your wife, say... You know, sure, say this on a first child, now on your own. Eh? My brother, if Pekin not resemble you for face, it go resemble you for leg. That is how God is creator. I am telling you, there must be place. If now boy Pekin, look at penis. The only best way to know boy Pekin where you born, look at penis. Now that place, me don't know, say, man, God too much. I believe someone commented that Monica's statement is not applicable to all kids. Monica then went further in an attempt to convince the commenter that this penis look-alike thing applies to all kids. In her words, if the penis doesn't look alike in size, the head of the penis must look alike. And that was the point at which she used her brothers as a case study. Eh? You say not be all kids. Not all. Not all. When it comes to, yeah. Now all kids, he must get either he get papa size or he go get papa uh, head. Go and check it now. Una, all of us now we get boys, boys, children. Oh yeah, we here now. And other other people also. I get family now. When you see them, you know say now nah, their papa this thing. I be this one. I don't know about you now, but I can say ninety nine percent because my father born so so boys. All of them no mistake. If they don't resemble my path for fame, ekiya ekira ne wa no. In a way, when I come born, I come no say piki na cassava. You tell no who you born for. He say in papa cassava, in papa cassava, and in brothers own are the same. How you tell no your papa cassava? So this is the statement by Monica Ambrose that Lola is now using to pin her on having allegedly committed incest. But not only that, some time ago a certain woman called Lola and told Lola that Monica's half-brother in Manchester allegedly confirmed that there was indeed incest involved. Before I now heard this, this um, confirmation now that it is true that her father slept with her. Mm. The half-brother in Manchester the same father with her is the one that confirmed what you are about to hear now. Okay, we are going to stress, you know, we go away any time here, you make sure that's a good for no. Away, I'm going to ask you to make sure that's a good for no. Away, yeah, ha. You don't mean it. Away, yeah, ha. You know, they hear my son. In brothers, any time they mention a good for no. In fact, he feels like to kill himself. Because it's a shameful thing. People who knows. Did you hear this man said it that day? He threw me He said, no, let me come play your father reggae for you. Oh. Don't let me play your father life for you. Oh. Now we do say Now we know what's here. Hmm. 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 
if his father's if he can change his father's name. If you guys remember, Lola was playing this particular audio on YouTube just a few weeks back, but the woman in the recording called Lola to plead with her not to play the audio further, that the recorded conversation had already caused problems between herself and her husband and the people who live in her city. The woman also called Mama Gladys to beg for the audio not to be played anymore. So Lola suspended the live show on YouTube, but this is the continuation of the audio recording. <laughs> Did you people hear it? Oh, yeah, oh, ta. Get baba, love your kid, baby. For those of you who don't, who don't understand, he said that it was the way she was running after her father. The way she was running after her father. That is why, after it happened, the mother started looking for somebody to take her abroad. Hmm. It is terrible. Terrible. She is cursed. They did not return the curse from her life. So everywhere she goes, she's a distra distractor. You guys, the audio recording did not stop there. The woman also said that Monica Ambrose and her husband allegedly brought a minor into their home, housed her for two years while they allegedly sexually exploited the girl. I have to warn you now that some viewers might find the clip quite disturbing. So please, if you don't have the stomach to withstand this, I kindly suggest you click away or navigate to another video on my channel. I have videos of Bob Risky, Ada Jesus, Jennifer Lopez, and a host of other celebrities on my channel that you might find interesting. Listen. They carry a minor and they started molesting the minor in their house. In their house. All right, now let's talk. In as much as these revelations are shocking, we should remove sentiment and be critical about what we just heard. In the first instance, the lady stated that Monica Ambrose's half brother in Manchester allegedly confirmed the incest allegation. My question now is that did that man tell the woman directly or did the woman hear it as a rumor? Now, this same question applies to the case of the minor who was allegedly sexually exploited. Did this woman have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that girl to be able to conclude that this thing indeed happened? 
And I'm in no way discrediting this woman or what she said, but I just feel like it is paramount for us to always run a fact check whenever we assimilate information. So did this woman hear the story from the horse's mouth or is it simply hearsay? Now moving on to the show itself, was it a good show and was it worth it? First of all, I have to commend Lola for respecting people's time. I told you guys we are not going to spend 10 hours inside of this place. We are going to go straight to the bumper shit and we are going to throw it there. The show itself was done and dusted in an hour and a half. Lola went straight to business and played exclusive, never heard before audios. And it might also have helped that for some reason Lola couldn't read comments. So that might have actually contributed to why the show went by so fast. The next question is, did the viewers get value for their money? I would say yes they did. Lola delivered exactly what she promised her viewers and even gave them Jara to take away. You guys already know my answer when you ask if any gossip is worth 11 euro. And in case you don't know that answer, go watch the last review I did. There is a link in the description box down below from where you can watch the video. Okay, let's talk about the downside of the show. The downside of the show for me was when Lola was looking for the audio fractions that she wanted to play. She was fast forwarding and rewinding audios to get the main audio. She was looking for earpiece and trying to connect her phone to a speaker and all those other technical details that I feel like she could have taken care of even before the show commenced. But well, there is always room for improvement. So you guys drop me all of your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and if you get to watch it on Facebook do not hesitate to like and follow my page and I will catch you on my next one.